Welcome to Junior Journalist TV. I'm Victoria. And I'm Quincy. Today we are going to interview Principal Haas. Thank you for being with us today. It's great to be with you guys today. I appreciate it. We have a few questions to know you better. Number one, what is your favorite food? So that's a hard one because there's so many good foods, but my favorite thing is really pizza with everything on it. That is so Delicious. good. <laughs> Do you like that? Yes. Okay. That's my favorite food though. Number two. What's your favorite song or TV show? Mm -hmm. Gosh. Song or TV show? I'm going to pick TV show and I'm going to say my favorite TV show is Yellowstone because it's filmed in an area in kind of Wyoming and Montana where I also have a house. And so I really like the outdoors. Um, so that's, there's also a Yellowstone Park yeah. and, and wolves. Yep, right and that's it's actually for filmed about there. Years. Yeah, you're you're talking about the same place that I'm talking about. Yellowstone National Park. Yeah, that's where they film the show. So it's very cool. Number three. How many countries have you ever been to? Wow, that's a hard question. A lot. Um, I don't know how many in total. Let me think. I would say over 20 at least that I've been to, but I'm not sure because I'd have to go back and almost take a globe and start counting where I've all been, but it's been a lot, but it's fun to travel. If you had to go anywhere on earth for a year, where would it be? For one whole year? Yes. I would go back to Wyoming where my house is because I have a beautiful house up in the mountains and I have a, a trout pond and a waterfall and I'm surrounded by forests. So it's really a beautiful place to be and to relax. Wow, that must sound really beautiful. Yeah, I love going there. Do you have a favorite sports team or a favorite sport? Um, I kind of do. I have a lot of sports that I like, but um, the one I like to watch the most is probably like basketball. Um, and so, and my favorite team are the Iowa Hawkeyes, um, which is a college team. I like to watch college sports. Um, it's, it's kind of exciting for me. And um, what do I like to do? I like to participate in sports. So I'm, I, I like to play um, pickleball. Has anybody played pickleball? Oh, I, 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 play, I, play, I play it. Yeah, I do too. I love to play pickleball. So that's my favorite sport to play. When you were a kid, what job did you want to have? Uh, when I was growing up as a, a kid, I wanted to be an architect, oh. which is really about designing buildings and, and doing stuff like that. So I kind of get to do it because we're building a new school right now. Oh. So it's kind of like being an architect. When I was about one or two years old or three years old, like, you know, every single small little kid always likes to build tiny blanket forts, right? Guess yes. what? I made a humongous one and it fell all on my dad and he like, he was like, ah! He was buried? Yep. <laughs> buried alive like that. Do you have any funny stories from when you were a kid? Um, I'm sure I have a lot of funny stories. Let me think. Um, when I was in school and I was probably about in your grade, um, I grew up in a really cold area and um, it would be freezing outside and um, one day we told one of the kids to stick his tongue onto a, a metal pole oh and God. because it was so cold out it was freezing, it his tongue got stuck on the pole. Oh my God. It wasn't so funny for him, but it was kind of, we thought it was funny, but it wasn't really funny. It was kind of probably mean, right? Yeah. And we had to help him get it unstuck off the pole because um, of the freezing temperature. I think the most efficient way is to just try melting it. Yeah, so you dump some water on it and that helps be, melt it. I think you should have used salt. It helps mm, melt that's, it more. Oh, that would be a better idea maybe. You have some good suggestions. How long have you been at SES? And what's your typical day like? So I've been at SES, this is my 34th year at SES. Um, and my typical day starts by welcoming kids off the buses. So I get to go out there and see how excited kids are to come to school every day, which makes me happy. 
And then what I do is I, I usually am going around and sometimes I go into classrooms and see what's going on and make sure that kids are having a, a good learning experience in the classroom. And I go and try to help sure, make sure that teachers have what they need to do their jobs well at the school. So a lot of my job is making sure the school is a safe place to be and a fun place to be for everybody that works here. What do you find hard about your job and what do you do to get through it? Hmm, that's a really good question. Maybe what do I find hard? Um, um, just making sure that we're m making school the best place we can for every student to make sure that they feel it's a fun place to be every day because that's what I want. I want everybody to feel it's a good place to come to and that I learn something new every day and I want that to be the same for all the adults too that come here that they feel good about being here so making sure it's a, a welcoming place for students and a welcoming place for all the adults that come to our school every day too so what feedback would you give to a new principal wow you guys have some really interesting questions <laughs> feedback to a new principal i would say that make learning fun for kids and that's my main goal is you know, some parents sometimes say, well, I hope my, my, boy, my son or daughter never has to go to the principal because I think we remembered going to the principal. You only went to the principal when you were bad. But you guys are here today because you're coming to interview and make it fun, right? And that's what I want it to be. So my advice would be make your interactions with the principal be fun and a place that you want to go to, uh, especially when you're doing good work. And also there are times when all of us make a mistake, right? And kids sometimes have to come and have a conversation with me about a mistake they made. But that's okay because we all make mistakes and we learn. And the good thing I always tell everybody is when you leave today, don't make that mistake again, right? You, we all make mistakes and that's okay. That's how we learn. It's part of learning, right? Well, before you answered this question, I thought all the time when you go to the principal, it's kind of bad. It looks like a special <laughs> situation. Yeah. And before Mr. Mr. Dylan came over again, he like he did a counseling lesson with us, and then like and then like he invented he invited some of us to his room. I was oh, one of them. That happened today. Oh. Oh yeah, and then like. Um, he like, it was actually pretty fun. Before, I thought that counselor's offices were scary and dark and smell of like weird <laughs> air con perfume. <laughs> but it wasn't the case, right? Yeah. Yeah, so fun. that's what we try to do is make learning be fun for wherever you are in the building, right? If you could give, give only one thing to the whole school, what would it be? Joy. Do you, how would I do that though? How would I give joy to everybody? Fun. Hmm, yeah, make it fun, right? So it kind of goes along with what I've talked about. If I could make school fun for everybody, that's what I would give to everybody. So make it a joyous place where everybody feels good and where everybody treats everybody really nicely, right? Thank you for taking the time to speak with us. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Thanks, everybody. It was enjoyable.